Our goal for safety is to make sure no one gets hurt. It's to empower voices across every level of employee so that they feel like they can actively care for each other. We want to be safe. We have to be safe. And not because we were told to be, but because we're a family. We are watching out for our family members' backs on every job, on every project, in every office, all over the globe, no matter what we're doing. I think every activity on a job site deserves attention, deserves focus and understanding. But absolutely, there are specific job site hazards that deserve focused engineered attention. Every job that we have is different. We have over 250 or 300 active projects all over the globe. Every single one of them is different in their own way. So going on to these new job sites or anytime you walk onto a job site, you need to understand the environment and the unique hazards that are associated with that project. Safety performance at Walsh ranks very well against our peers in the industry. I would say we're in the top tier. And we, as one of the leading industry contractors, have been leading that effort. And to say that we've been getting better, I think, would be an understatement. You know, that said, I think we're unsatisfied, even in the top tier. You know, our goal is that no one gets hurt. And creating a safety culture where everyone strives to ensure that no one gets hurt every day is the ultimate goal. We manage job site safety through empowerment, careful planning, through training, to making sure that everybody involved in a particular activity has total understanding of that which we're going to do. When we've achieved that, that is how we manage risk. Actively caring is the empowerment of every individual on every job site to stop what's going on or offer suggestions as to how to do something better, how to do something safer. We inspired people or empowered people to protect each other, to be each other's keeper, uh, to have that sense of family, that sense of pride, that actively caring culture that we're so very proud of here at Walsh. Everyone's responsible for safety, whether you're in the field, whether you're in the office. If you see an unsafe act or an act that has the potential to cause an incident, it is the individual's job to speak up. Whether they're Walsh management, labor, whether they're a subcontractor, a vendor, an owner, it is every individual's job on every project in every office. And everyone should be bound by the safety code of conduct that we're so proud of. Statistics have shown as we've gone back and looked over the last 10, 15 years, the safest jobs that we've had have tended to be our most profitable jobs also. Poor safety performance will lead to financial challenge. What we want people to understand is that strong safety performance, having an actively caring culture, absolutely leads to more profitability, to a better organization. Past safety performance is absolutely a factor in pursuing new work. Owners today, both public and private, are very savvy about purchasing construction. When we're going through the procurement process in many arenas, whether it's the building side, the water side, the civil and transportation side, owners are vested and they are interested in the safety statistics and the underlying culture of the contractors that they're hiring. They realize their reputation is at stake, just as our reputation as a contractor is at stake. And as a result, owners today spend a lot of time seeking to understand how safe are you as an organization. So without a doubt, it is a factor when pursuing the work. I want every employee to know at Walsh that they're a safety leader. I want every employee to know that they are part of our actively caring culture. I want everyone to know that I'm very thankful for that which they do to make us best in class, to be the top tier contractor that Walsh at Archer Western is. 